today, we're going to open the Geek Gear World of Wizardry monthly subscription box for April 2020. So as I said, this is the April box, and I know we are most of the way through May, but because this one comes from the UK, they've had all kinds of issues with getting stuff over here timely with everything that's going on with the pandemic. So um, I'm just glad that it's here. I'm still waiting on my Accio box for April, and they're here in the US, and it got shipped on May 5th. So not sure what the U.S. Postal Service and that owl are doing, but we will figure that out. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. Ooh. Okay, so right on top we have our shirt. And let's see. Ooh, that's cool. That's really different. So it's a pumpkin juice shirt. Always fresh pumpkin juice. Enjoy smooth, 100% organic cocktail from Concentrate. That's super cute and really different. I like that a lot. So for those of you who haven't watched these videos with me before, the Geek Gear boxes always have a shirt in there and then several other items. And whatever house you're in, they will put uh, anything that's house-themed in your house. So anything house-themed in this box would be Ravenclaw because that's my house. So, yeah, I, I think this is really different. I haven't seen a shirt like this, and this looks just like the bottle at Universal. So that's exciting. And um, I'll put a link at the end of the video to uh, my take on the pumpkin juice bottles. I have a drinkable and a prop version. And let me tell you, the drinkable version is really yummy, especially in the fall. So check that out. Okay. Ooh, I think we got a wand. Let's see. Okay, definitely got a wand. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that's different. Okay, so we have this purple rhinestone here at the top. And then it's like a pinky rhinestone down here. And then it's just kind of a organic drippy pattern down here with a little bit of like faux wrapping look. That's different. I, I kind of like it. It almost has a unicorn vibe because of this. Like this almost reminds me of like a unicorn horn. So I'll be interested to see what uh, what type of wand this says it is when we find the little card for it. But yeah, it's different. So, okay. Oh, looks like we got another one of those Demi Taz mugs. Let's check this out. Oh, and mine is broken. So if you ever get a broken item from Geek Gear, just let them know and they will... Um, replace it. They really are very good about that. So I'll definitely have to contact them, but let's see what this is and hopefully I can do it without losing all the pieces or cutting myself. Let me open this up. Okay, so I have the handle here in the bubble wrap, but it is a Veritas Serum cup. Three drops only, Hogwarts Apothecary. And again, it has the little Horus Slughorn logo here, and then it's got some runes up here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't associate blue with Veritas Serum. I don't know if it's because Snape's bottle is green that you actually see the Veritas Serum in. I'm not sure, but for whatever reason, I, I don't know if I really associate the blue with Veritas Serum. And honestly, if it was a navy blue, I think I'd be more okay with it. I just don't know that this really light periwinkle-y blue screams Veritas Serum to me. But they are a neat licensed piece. I get it. Again, I'm, I have a couple of these now, and I, I do drink espresso like every day, but I haven't found these super useful because I end up making lattes, so I don't necessarily use the smaller mugs very often. But they are different, so I'll definitely have to contact them because this one did come broken. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, maybe another chess piece. Let's see. I feel like we've been getting a lot of the different chess pieces. I feel like I might be able to make a whole chess board by the time this is done. Oh, yep. Okay, I think this is a pawn. I do not play chess. I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like this is it's in the front of the Wizards chess game. And I think those are called pawns. It's either pawns or rooks. I don't... I don't know which. Again, I don't play chess, so I'm not 100% sure. So maybe the cheat sheet will let us know. But it's really well done. It looks just like the ones in the movie. So cool. Oh, 
Oh, did we get our... Oh, not a charm. Ooh, okay, so it looks like it's a Ministry of Magic coin of some sort. Let me get this out of the plastic. Okay, so it is a very nicely made, heavy Ministry of Magic coin, and I can only imagine that this will help you get entrance into the Ministry of Magic. And I don't know what this means on the outside, but it says Ignorantia Juris Niminum Excusat. Excuse? Yeah, so I don't know what those mean, but it is a really cool coin. Very different. Not really seen much like this. And it is it is nice weighty piece, so yeah, that's a cool replica. Oh, I see a mermaid. Okay, so I, I'm going to assume that maybe this is a bookmark. Oh, what's it say? Come seek us where our voices sound. We cannot sing above the ground. An hour long you'll have to look to recover what we took. So it's got the message from the egg in there. And yes, I think it is a bookmark because there's a little punch hole up here. So... Yeah, that's different. And um, when they gave us the hint of the prefix bathroom, I asked some of you if you guys would like to see me make a stained glass version of this. Um, and you guys all said yes. So that will be something I plan on doing in the future. I don't exactly know when, but it is something I definitely plan on doing because I'd like to make it for my bathroom. So we will check that out. Yeah. And we have a piece of art. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's Dougal. Okay, I really like that. I love Dougal the Dummy, guys. He's so sweet. And I love that it's like looks like it's done in like a graphite pencil or something like that. So that's really cute. And it's printed on that really nice like sketchbook feeling watercolor paper. But yeah, that's really cute. Very well done. And I can't make out who the artist is, so hopefully the... Uh, cheat sheet will let us know okay tons of wiggly worms I don't see our charm but I see a little note which I think that's just the cheat sheet but let's see what it has to say we hope you enjoy every single item that we have carefully packed into your box this month and that you continue your subscription and remain to be a valued member of our ever-growing geek gear community so we have the exclusive pumpkin juice t-shirt Exclusive wizard chess pawn piece replica. Okay, so it is the pawn. We have the unique wand exclusive, which is the Cristalio wand. So this month's wand is a community artist design created by the incredibly talented Geek Gear customer, Annette Peterson. So yeah, good job, Annette. It's very different. The Quantiped community artist artwork. Oh, okay, so they're calling the Demi guys uh, Quantiped. So this stunning artwork is brought to you by Ashley Foster. Show Ashley some love on Instagram at Ashley Foster underscore art. Very cool. You did a very nice job, Ashley. It's really cute. And, oh, something flopped out. We'll get to that in a second. The exclusive Wizamagot coin. Okay, so that is a coin for the Wizamagot, so that's cool. And the exclusive Prefect Bathroom Muriel bookmark. Licensed and exclusive Veritas Serum Espresso mini mug. And we didn't get a charm this month odd okay I mean there's still seven items in this box but I'm surprised because they were doing uh, that every month so maybe they were having an issue with getting them or something so the YouTube spotlight is Phoenix 2 and next month's box hint is Dolores Umbridge or the owls I'm not sure which but I'm gonna assume it's Umbridge interesting and what fell out was our little scratch off card so let me scratch that No win. Better luck next time. So this is not my favorite box that we've gotten from Geek Gear. And they have really been hitting it out of the park, I feel like, for the last several months. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This one just didn't speak to me as much. I mean, the little chess pieces are cool, and they are very well done. It's just not my favorite items. Um, and this wand is cool, but you guys know I'm not a huge pink fan. 
Um, I would not classify my, myself as super girly. Um, the purple is kind of cool. It's the color of my book. So, um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, I really like the wand. I, I am not showing any disrespect. I just, uh, light pinks and purples are not necessarily my favorite colors. I do like fuchsias. I do like shades of purple, but pink is like, I don't, yeah, not my thing. And I'm not really a fan of the bookmark. I don't ever use bookmarks because I either read it digitally or, I mean, let's be real, for the most part anymore, I just read it digitally, so I don't really need bookmarks. But um, yeah, I don't know. I do love this coin. This Wisdom I Got coin for the ministry is beautiful. It is very well done. I love how it was, you know, weighted and everything like that. So this is really, really nice. And I did like the pumpkin juice shirt a lot. It's very different. Um, this Demi Guys piece of art is is beautiful as well. The mugs, you know how I feel about the mugs. And the fact that mine came broken is just kind of mm, meh. So yeah, um, not my favorite box, but there are some items in here I do like. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I mean, if do you guys think this was a uh, less strong box than they have been the last couple months uh, or did you actually think it was a good box so I'll be curious to see what you guys say if you guys like this video give me the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so and we will catch you guys later thanks so much